First he resigned, now he's facing criminal charges. The former police chief in Elizabeth is accused of stealing heroin that was being used as evidence. And some of the numbers in this case are staggering. David Highfield reports. Ken, the former police chief here in Elizabeth Borough turned himself in this afternoon to detectives with the district attorney's office. And tonight, his lawyer tells me at least one of the charges against him is not true. Some people in the tight-knit community of Elizabeth are having a tough time with the charges against Tim Butler, who had been chief here for 19 years. I've known Tim a long time, and it just, it's just heartbreaking to me that this has occurred. Butler resigned two days ago, citing personal reasons. But according to a criminal complaint, he's admitted to having a heroin addiction, saying that it started after a doctor put him on Vicodin for neck and back pain. His attorney would not confirm that, but says if it's true. It falls classically right in the center of all of the opioid addiction cases that we read about. We have great sensitivity in our culture right now for the people that become addicted to opioids as a result of doctors overprescribing. The complaint alleges that Butler admitted that any heroin in evidence from drug cases was gone, and it lists the amounts that are allegedly missing, 535 bags, 2,500 bags, 900 more bags. In addition to the charges involving drugs, the complaint also alleges that the chief never deposited the money collected from the parking meters here for an entire year. Chief Butler absolutely and respectfully um, denies that he ever converted any money that belonged to the borough or the taxpayers or anything um, in, in the form of parking meter money. In fact, he says Butler saw to it that boxes of coins were taken by another employee to be deposited. Tim Butler was released on bond today. However, he has a hearing in the morning to set conditions on that bond. We will let you know what happens. In Elizabeth, David Highfield, KDKA News.